it's Mickey from Mickey's Frame Shop and I'm here tonight on the Country Chic Facebook page um, to show you some fun things to do with Easter eggs and Country Chic paint. Um, well wait a second and let some people tune in so when you come in if you'd let us know you're there um, give us a thumbs up or a like or hey tell us where you're from. I don't know what the weather is like there um, but here we have got rainy nasty horrible weather. Um, so you guys let us know when you get here and we'll get started. Um, got a supply list that I want to share with you first. So the things you're going to need are some sort of uh, either plastic Easter eggs or real Easter, e or Easter eggs, real eggs. You'll need uh, skewers and you'll need three colors of country chic paint. Then you'll need clear coat or tough coat and clear glaze. And that's what we'll be using to make our Easter eggs. Oh, and don't forget some sort of plastic cup or plastic container. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna use these um, little uh, plastic eggs that have already been primed. And these did really well. I did some with real eggs, but I actually like the way the paint took better on these little primed eggs. And the first thing you need to do is get some sort of, put the box right on the cord. <laughs> One second, you guys. All right, best laid intentions, right? So I'm gonna use a uh, Dremel and a little bit on here and I'm gonna drill a little hole in the bottom of these eggs. I've already done a bunch of them, but I wanna show you guys how easy this is. It'd be easier if I wasn't shaking, wouldn't it? All right, so these are really easy to drill a little hole in the base of the egg. And you can use a drill with a small drill bit um, or the Dremel tool. Then you're going to take your skewer and pop the egg on the skewer. This gives you a handle to do what we're going to do next. All right. So we have got three cups. And what I've already put in here is clear glaze. Hey, Vicki, are you with us? I'm so glad. Um, so we've got the clear glaze already in here. And to this, I've added just a dash of water. And when I say a dash, I don't know, maybe for this much, it might have been a tablespoon, um, just to make it a little bit thinner than it already is. All right, so I'm going to show you that with this one. This one's going to be our actual dipping cup. So what we're doing is a version of Dirty Pours. Um, you guys that are on Pinterest all the time, like I am, uh, have seen that dirty pours are just huge everywhere. So this is a version of doing a dirty pour. It's totally fun, totally easy for kids, okay? And you guys, don't forget to watch to the end of this video um, because you have a chance to win something uh, from Country Chic. They're going to do a giveaway at the end. And to win that, you will need to comment and tell us... Um, who you'd like to do these Easter eggs for. And remember, do them with kids. My granddaughter had a great time doing these yesterday. So see, just a little bit of water. And we wanna stir that up. And this one is actually gonna be our um, final dip cup. So a dirty dip with these eggs. All right, next thing we do is take our three colors of paint. Tonight I am using three of the new Insider colors. So Calliope, Opening Act, and Razzle Dazzle. Um, so we'll take our paint, and I wanna show you a cute trick that a friend of ours, a fellow retailer, um, showed us a while back. If you're just doing small things and you wanna pour out of it and not make a super big mess, you can take a knife and cut two little holes the same way we used to open cans and that gives you a nice little pour spout. So in each one of your cups, you're gonna do each one of your uh, paints. 
And we want to do about two thirds of glaze and one third paint color. Um, I've been doing, and when you get that done, just take something like a um, baby wipe and wipe that little bit of excess off and then your jar lids come right back off the next time you need to get into your paint. So we've got the yellow and this beautiful new, it's not tight, it's sticking on the lid. There we go. All right. So we've got this beautiful pink, the new pink Razzle Dazzle. And the new one, Opening Act. The cool thing about these colors, these are the new Insider colors and they're available only at your Country Chic retailers. Um, the other colors, if you don't have a Country Chic retailer near you, um, you can um, order from the Country Chic website. Yes, Lena showed us how to do that with those little um, things. And I should tell you guys, I have two great friends helping me here tonight. I've got David behind the camera right there, and then we've got Margo, which some of you will know, and she's here answering any questions and telling me who's tuning in. So after we get our colors in our glaze, and let me tell you something about glaze. The cool thing about glaze is it looks white and milky here, but actually it dries clear. So what's gonna happen with a little bit of paint and more glaze is we're gonna get a really pretty um, kind of watercolor finish on these eggs. You can do it with more paint and less glaze and get more of a painted, um, you know, fully painted surface. Uh, but I found that I really liked the uh, watercolor look. So we'll get these stirred up. Got one more. So where are you guys tuning in from? Where's everybody from out there? I know last time we had people from all over. All right. Now this is the cup we're gonna dip in. I've already got the same amount of glaze in here and what it's doing is sort of, um, it, it's going to give us more glaze and more watercolor but it also floats these colors and I'm gonna show you that. So what I'm gonna do is pour these in, kind of ribbon-like. So each one layering the colors and pouring them in kind of soft and ribbon so they're not mixing together too much. They're still staying their own colors in the glaze itself. And you guys, when you do something like this, you want your, um, your cup to be not much bigger than what you're trying to dip because you don't want to um, waste just tons of this uh, paint and glaze yumminess. All right, so we've got our egg and our handle and you're just gonna dip and swirl. Oh, look. Isn't that pretty? Just love how this does. All right, I'm gonna just keep rotating it around for a minute and letting some of that drip off. And you get these lovely, pretty. Hey, Aaron from Arizona is here. That's my buddy Elvis. And Nikki from Alberta and Sheila from Milton, Ontario. Hey, thank you guys for joining us. All right, so after you do that, here's where you need the Oasis, which I think I forgot to tell you a while ago in the supplies. You need a piece of Oasis to let these drip down. So let's do a couple more. And what happens is you get more, like that one came out more with the pink and the white, but see how the colors come through? And you just get really pretty. See how it's sheeting off? Oh, I just love doing this. All right, so let some of that drip off. And the kids love this because you get nice and fun and messy, um, but not too crazy messy. And remember, all Country Chic paints are VOC free and chemical free. So totally friendly to kids and pets. 
So if you're doing this in the middle of the house, in the middle of winter, like um, it's supposed to be spring here, it's not spring. Um, cold and dreary, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, look how that pink's popping through on that one. All right, so that's doing dirty dipped Easter eggs. And now, got another version of this for you. Set this yumminess aside. Do not, uh, don't throw this away because I'm going to show you something at the very end we're going to do with that. All right, so now we are going to do a dirty pour with Easter eggs. What you need to do a dirty pour on an Easter egg is a really tiny cup of some sort that's like a little hat for an Easter egg. That's how big you need it, okay? So these came off of cosmetics in my bathroom. Um, I was trying to find something small enough and that's what those are, little cosmetic lids. So, hey, it's Jose from Ontario and Patty Walker's with us. Thank you guys for joining. Um, again, let's start with a little bit of glaze in the bottom. Um, you guys, don't forget to comment below if you want to enter the contest from Country Chic to win a Country Chic starter pack. Um, you guys, this paint is great stuff, so if you've never tried the paint, you really want the starter pack, so make sure you comment below. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do that in all three cups. Give myself just a little bit of the clear glaze. So actually you need to comment who you're gonna make Easter eggs for. So whether it's for grandkids, cause that's what I've done all this week, or whether you're making them for someone special, let us know who the special person is that you're gonna make um, Easter eggs for, all right? So here's our little hats. Same thing again, same combination. But what I like to do is layer them differently. So you could go one, two, three with each color. Um, but I'm going to layer these in different ways so that when they pour out on the Easter eggs, um, they'll come out differently. And there's no right or wrong to how to do this. And I want about, I figured out with these, I need these cups half to three quarter full. All right, here's the fun thing about these. Super messy, super fun, super messy. Um, any of you guys that follow my uh, shop Facebook page may remember the time that I did the first uh, dirty pour on a little table and I managed to dirty pour the whole floor. <laughs> And I'll show you that in a minute because we have more dirty pour um, things to show you and dirty dip things. All right, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to put your egg into this, hold on to both really well, flip them over, and put it down into your styrofoam or your oasis. Hi, Deborah from New Mexico. Glad you're here with us. All right. So if I did it right, it will hold for just a second, and I'll do the other, well, I'll do one more because I only have two hands. Uh, here we go. All right. So this is the fun part. If you've got, uh, you know, two kids, you can kind of make it a, a dirty, poor Easter egg race. All right, here we go. Lift those off kind of slowly. Kind of move it around. Yeah, there you go. I don't know about from your side, but this side is making some really pretty little river ribbons. Makes really pretty on the bottom too. And Megan from Missouri is with us. Welcome, Megan. Glad you are joining us. All right, here's something you can do or not do. If you don't mind getting a little bit more messy, then you can twirl your egg and get it to move around a little bit. Although, look at that, that's really pretty. It looks like petals. Isn't that pretty? See all the pretty yummy stuff happening? So when you twirl it around, you can actually get some more different designs going on. So we got one more poured up. 
I'm scared to death, you guys. I'm actually wearing a shirt I really like. <laughs> Do these projects in paint shirts. All right, so here we go. Remember to move it around a little bit so that paint distributes around your egg. Isn't that fun? All right, so we've done two so far. We've done the Dirty Dip Easter Eggs and the Dirty Pour Easter Eggs. And I'm gonna set this aside and let this drip off. And then I want to show you a few things, a few of the ones I did with my granddaughter yesterday. All right, so this is a good example. This one, something happened at the top. It kind of cracked and didn't, didn't turn out exactly like we wanted to. I know I have a brush around here. There we go. Didn't turn out exactly like we wanted to, but that's okay because you can come back with your paints and do some more designs and make them their, your own. So either paint it again, you know, add a little bit of fun to it with more paint. That's one way. Um, hey, is that our Glenda? Hey, Glenda. Glenda let us borrow lights and earrings because I forgot earrings this morning. Hi, Carly. Hi, Shelly. Thanks for being with us. All right, another thing that's great to do, Country Chic has this fabulous, German glass glitter. I'm gonna move that to the front. And I found that a couple of these dirty dip Easter eggs, it didn't cover the whole bottom of the egg. So a fun thing to do is, is do the uh, glass glitter on the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Peggy! Is that our Peggy? Mm -hmm. Our Peggy's here. All right. So this is the image transfer medium, and I've just popped it down in a little jar. And what you do is just dip and swirl, because usually it's the bottoms that don't quite cover, all right? And you can pour that out into a little cup as well. And then sprinkle on and if you notice, I'm doing this over a white piece of, or over a piece of paper. All right, and you guys, there is a, Shelly loves glitter. I love glitter too. All right, so the German glass glitter gives us a way of covering up something that maybe didn't turn out just exactly like we wanted to. And then again, you can put it back on your skewer. And I'm going to let that drip go down just a little bit. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, um, you guys, if you are interested in buying some Country Chic paint, I do have a coupon code for you. If you go to the Country Chic uh, paint website and enter the coupon code Mickey's Frame Shop 10, you will get a 10% discount on um, any paint that you order. So Mickey's Frame Shop is M I K K I. F-R-A-M-E shop, S-H-O-P 10. All right, so enter that at the end um, for a 10% discount on any paint that you buy. And so here's the reason for the paper. Just funnel all that yummy goodness right back into the jar. Another fun thing. I don't know about you guys, but when my son was little, I had millions of these left over every Easter, all right? So let me show you a great thing I came up with. You can make, you see those, I think they're called Hatchimals? All right, we all do this every year, right? You put something in your Easter egg, seal it up and hunt it. But let's make a Hatchimal or a dinosaur Easter egg. What you wanna do is use I did not bring the texture powder over here. I'm sorry. All right, so paint and texture powder mixed together so that you get this really thick, deep, um, rugged kind of paint. What would you call this, David? It's a, it's Just a good texture. textured, it's a heavy textured paint, all right? So you mix that together. But we've got our, our, um, our toy in there and we're gonna, 
Mm, you guys, I missed a step. That's what I was looking at this for. Use your image transfer, your white piece of paper, tear it up, and what you're gonna do is glue the paper all over the egg, like paper mache, like you used to do in school, so that you're sealing up this egg. Then, when it's dry, use your texture paint and your colors, do another uh, dirty dip, and after it's dry, you can come back in with a little Dremel and cut the, um, where your dinosaur is gonna hatch. That way the kid can pound it, hit it with something, or just crack it open and get the prize inside. Makes it a little more fun. Um, dinosaur eggs. All right, so that was with um, image transfer, using it for paper mache, and then the texture powder with your paint um, to get a real textured egg to make a dinosaur egg. All right, a couple more things I wanted to show you, and then I'm going to get to um, Easter baskets. Another thing I found, if you want to personalize your Easter eggs, you can put your country sheet paint in these fine line applicators. I got these from Jerry's Artorama, but I'm sure you can get these at almost any um, good art supply store. The cool thing about these is they have the tiniest little pen tip, and any kid that can use a pen can use these. So, you get it started. You guys, can you tell I'm still nervous about doing this for Country Sheet? <laughs> I'm shaking trying to write. David, on an Easter egg. So, really fun to do these little fine line pins. <clears throat> so we've, I can write. <laughs> we've got a couple minutes left and I'm gonna show you the very last thing. Um, don't forget to comment to win um, the Country Sheet giveaway and that is who would you do these Easter eggs for? Um, Image transfer is like Mod Podge, Nikki, but it is the does several different wonderful things. So image transfer, it will transfer a um, Margot. Help me. Is it a? It's a laser print or a the other laser print. If you do a laser print, you can transfer a laser print onto a painted surface. Um, you can also Mod Podge anything like napkins onto different things. So yes, very much like Mod Podge, um, but it uh, doesn't smell as bad. All right, so when I told you guys to save this stuff, um, here's why. Let's get the dinosaur eggs out of there. What you wanna do is pour all of your leftovers, and here's some of mine from this week with my granddaughter, Ellie. That's just all of those yummy colors mixed up together. Um, so we've got, this is a glaze with a little bit of paint in it, and then we're going to do the same thing again, is layer some color, and we only have a couple minutes left, so I'm going to do this more quickly, just, but thin ribbons of color. This is an Easter basket, you guys, um, just, just go with it. And you're gonna dip and move around in your colors. Because the same way we've always got, um, I'm just gonna set this in here because I wanna show you these Easter baskets we did. You know how you always have leftover Easter baskets? Um, we did these yesterday. So this was kind of just a plain little basket and we've marbleized it. This one was a little white one, and we dipped it and marbleized that one. And then I pulled out some of my very favorite um, dipped and uh, poured Easter eggs. I love this one. I think it looks like the Southwest. Isn't that pretty? All right, so those are some of my favorites. Uh, but my, grand my granddaughter did these two baskets all by herself. Uh, she's nine, so really a kid-friendly project. 
Um, all right, so we have got a winner for the Country Chic uh, Starter Pack, and the winner is Carly Marie Carmack. You've won, so congratulations on that. And if you've got any questions, just put them below. We'll answer them later. And thank you. I'm Mickey from Mickey's Frame Shop. And this was a live for Country Chic Paint.